In this video I will show you how to configure SAM Broadcaster Cloud to stream to your own ISCAR server. Before we get started though, I do have to point out that you may not need to stream to any external server like Shoutcast, Icecast or Live365 because SAM Broadcaster Cloud comes already with a streaming platform included in every package. So for example if I go to widget here, listen link I can go ahead and generate a listen link to my preferred stream which is running on the um, cloud platform. And this stream can be generated as either a Shoutcast compatible stream or a Flash compatible stream. So this platform is highly scalable, highly available and supports outputting your audio in the most um, used formats which is basically the Shoutcast and the Flash compatible formats. So chances are that even if you have an existing Shoutcast, Icecast or Live65 account that you may no longer need it. But if there's some technical reason or other reason for which you wish to stream to your own Shoutcast, Icecast or Live65 server, um, the rest of these videos will show you how to do that. In order to stream to a Shoutcast, Icecast or Live365 server, you first need to make sure that your package includes external relays. The bronze, silver and gold packages have different settings. The bronze package doesn't allow for external streaming. The silver package allows you to stream to up to two external servers. And the gold package allows you to stream up to four external relays. You can always purchase additional external relays if needed. External relays are configured from your user zone. So if you go to userzone.spatial.com, you can go ahead and log in with your credentials. And then you can go to the stations tab. And over here, I can choose the station which I want to manage. I want to manage this SAM Cloud Heat station. and I'm going to jump to this Manage Relays tab. Here you can see that Spatial Streaming is the cloud platform streaming included with every package. And if I wish, I can actually change both the bitrate and format or even choose MP3 over AC if I wanted to. And this will affect your default included streaming with your SAM Broadcaster Cloud package. Note that I can go to the Manage Service and add additional cloud platform streaming encoders for different formats. So I could be streaming in MP3 and AAC or multiple MP3 and multiple AAC streams at the same time to the cloud platform. So if you need additional formats or bit rates, you don't have to use an external relay. You can still do that on the cloud platform. But I'm not going to go into that detail right now. I want to show you how to set up external streaming. Okay, so let's go ahead and configure an external Icecast server. First thing you need to do is check that you have enough unused external relays. You can see here I have four, and you can buy more if you needed to. I'm going to go ahead and click on this Add Relay button. Choose Icecast as the source type, or the relay type. And then click Next. And here I can select the format which I want to stream in. I'm going to go ahead and choose MP3 64 kilobits per second. And now I can enter my Icecast server details. You can get these details from your stream hosting provider. So something very important you'll notice here, there's both an admin username and password and a source username and password. They may or may not be the same, but the admin password is used to get your station statistics from the server. So to see how many listeners are connected to your Icecast server, while the source username and password is used to connect your encoder and stream your audio to the server. So both sets of credentials is very important and something you can test to make sure it's correct. So let's go ahead and test this one and see admin test succeeded. I'm just going to
change the details just to show you how it looks if it fails. So there you see it fail, ISCOS 401 status, unauthorized. So that means my login credentials was wrong. Let's do the same here. Again, file could not connect to source. And let's put in correct credentials. And that's working now. Important is if you happen to be streaming to the ISCOS server at the same time, that the test will may also fail. So make sure nothing is connected to your ISCOS server on the mount you're trying to stream to. So when you configure this, you can test it and make sure everything will be fine. So once I've now configured all of my details and I verified that they're both correct, I'm going to click Submit here. and Relay successfully added to queue for processing. Now what will happen in the background now is that your station will read the new ISCOS information and restart and then start streaming to your ISCOS server if all of your settings are configured correctly. To verify that your the stream is working correctly, you should go to your the IP address of your ISCOS server and see that your mount point is available. You can see here my mount point ID zero was is streaming my station SamCloud hits and it's currently playing Nastya Yasne Moya Labov. I hope I pronounced that correctly. In any case, let's jump back to my demo station and we can see that it's actually a match. So that is currently the playing track and that's what IceCast is reporting as well. So everything seems to be working as expected. Let's just jump back to the web interface again and go to widgets and I'm going to go to listen link and here you can see when I choose my preferred stream when I'm generating a listen link I now have the ability to also choose my icecast as the preferred streaming option. As mentioned we provide the admin credentials for your icecast server so that the cloud system can go ahead and grab statistics for your station so it can know exactly how many listeners are listening to your ISCAST server and these statistics are included in the statistics in the cloud so when you look at this listener stats graph over here or you look at the performances for each and every track that will include your ISCAST server statistics now. Finally editing and removing your ISCAST server details is quite easy to edit simply click on this edit icon here which brings up the same interface where you can really just modify your details. And then also, if you want to remove your IceCast relay, you just click this remove button and confirm the action. That brings us to the end. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to configure IceCast streaming with Sam Broadcaster Cloud.